There we go. Guys, this is Gene Jensen. We're going to talk about the hollow body frog. Oh, if I can catch this fish. There is nothing like frog fishing. Nothing like it. Just watching that slam them out of the cover. Good grief, he took it deep. Good hooks. I mean, it is a blast. Get the hook out of him and then we'll talk. There we go. Not a big fish, but boy, it's a fun, fun deal. <laughs> All right, so what equipment do you use when you're frog fishing? Please excuse my messy boat. Um, first things first, a heavy action rod. This is a seven foot three ducket ghost. I think it's a seven three. Yep, seven foot three heavy action ducket ghost. I have 70 or 65 pound power pro braid and I'm using a Booyah pad crasher, but I have Spro's, I have Bobby's Perfect Frogs, I have KVD's little sexy frog, woohoo! Um, but anyway, uh, you have to excuse my voice. I lost my voice for today for some odd reason. But anyway, so, uh, the reel. Um, I use a uh, Abu Garcia Revo. Um, you can use a... Uh, you can use just about you know any good quality reel with a good drag. Uh, you name it, man. Brand new braid. I got to clean this reel. But um, so good reel, 65 braid, heavy rod, heavy action rod. The other one I would use is an extra heavy, but you know it's that's I think that's a little overkill. You saw me manhandle that fish out of here. Um, fast reel, and that's about it. Uh, the colors, choosing the right frog. It's all about the bottom. I don't care how pretty the artwork is on the top of these frogs. The fish see the sides and they see the bottom and that's it. So pick a, I have <clears throat> three colors that I use, black, white, and yellow. Um, <clears throat> and that's it, that's all I use. So, and I'll alternate between the, the three just to see which ones they like best. I've been trying black and white. Hadn't been working. That's actually the first fish I've caught on a frog. Um, you know, just go find the thick stuff and throw it in there. That's why you have that 65 pound braid. Uh, the hooks are really, really strong. They can withstand a heavy hook set. I want you to go back and watch the, the hook set on that fish. Notice I let him take it for a second and a half, two seconds before I hammered him home. Um, that's what you have to do. You get bit, you drop your rod. And, I, and my, my trick is to fish fish with my rod out of position. I like fishing with my rod down, okay? When the fishing rod is down like that, you're out of position for a hook set. Um, so what I do is, that's why I like a set, six foot three or shorter. My favorite rod is a six eight heavy for a frog rod because I'm not hitting the water when I'm, when I'm walking it like this or I'm, when I'm fish popping it with my rod down. Okay, so uh, you're, out of, you're out of position down here and I go from up to here over my shoulder and that gives me the, the split second or the, the second or so that I need in order for the fish to let the fish actually get the bait. And uh, by doing that, I'm able to, to, to get, get most of my hook sets. Um, let's see, modifications. Let's talk about modifications on a hollow body. Let me bring this thing in. I know this fish all in here, but let me bring this in. First thing I do is I take a pair of scissors and these, this one's already been done. Take a pair of scissors and I cut the tail or the legs about an inch. I don't cut them, I got a bug on my glasses. I don't cut them uh, one longer than the other to make it walk better or whatever else. Um, I just cut them even, take about an inch off, sometimes a lot shorter than that when I, if I feel like I need to, you know, need less drag in there or having trouble walking. Another thing I do is I bend these hooks out, okay? Notice how they're really, when, let me get one that hasn't been done yet. Um, okay. Yeah, this one hadn't. Okay, I'll bend the hooks out. Notice when they're, when they're brand new, these hooks are actually tucked into the body or tucked onto the body. You miss a lot of fish that way. So just a little bend. You take your pliers, you bend, you bend the hook out 
and up just a little bit. I mean, literally, literally, it's just a tiny, tiny bit. Here's one that's done. Here's one that's not. I don't know if you guys can see the difference, but that's the difference. Bend them up and out, okay? And you'll get a lot more hook sets that way, especially if you're having trouble. Um, another, some other modifications, you can put rattles down in the little hole. Uh, stick a couple of BBs down there, or a couple uh, little uh, small split shot. Um, worm rattle, uh, glass beads, whatever, put some rattles down in there. You know, a long time ago, before they started putting uh, weights down in the bottom, the butt end, you used to have to cram it full of little pieces of, a, of soft plastic worm to give it some weight. But uh, don't have to do that anymore. Most of them have, are weighted. So that's how I modify them. I've got another video on how to walk a frog, but I'm going to go through it real quick. Right after I set oak on this fish. Why do you have 65 pound braid? So you can bring them in. Bring the meat in with the salad. I drill. Whoop. Right in the roof of the mouth. Another good one. All right, so how do you walk a frog? I'm going to try to do this again. All right, it's like tapping a drum. I have one that talk, 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 made a video about how to walk a spook. And a spook is a, your, your rod's moving a lot. But uh, with a frog, because a frog's body is only about that long, it doesn't have to move side to side very much. So it's just a tap, tap, tap. I mean, a tiny little tap. I'm moving my rod tip five inches, okay? And you gotta remember to go, it's like tapping the drum. You don't hit the drum and keep the drumstick on the drum. You tap it and bring it right back up. Tap, 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 same thing, tap, 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 tap. And once you get that cadence down, and once you figure out how, how little bit you have to tap, you'll walk the frog, I promise. So, well, that's Frog Fishing 101. Um, well, like I always say, visit BassResource.com for the answer to all your questions about bass fishing. But most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share my videos with, with your friends. Got a bug on my leg. <laughs> share this video with your friends. Um, on Instagram and on Facebook and everything else and tell your friends about my channel. I, I, all I want to do is I want to teach as many people as I can how to fish and I, I can't do it without your help. So take what you learned today, take it out on the water um, and go catch some fish. Like that. bit bigger one. <laughs>